Hi folks, Ravel have decided they're going to be re-releasing some Matchbox kits and they've rebranded them as the first diorama range. This one here, the Sherman Firefly, came out this year. We're going to unbox it and see what you get inside this kit. Anyways... I'm actually quite pleased that Ravel have brought this one out because if you don't know, Ravel bought Matchbox. And if you were around back in the day, their Sherman Firefly was a delightful little build. It's 176 scale. And this one here is a represent is basically a rebox of the Matchbox Sherman Firefly, and I think it was the PK. 71 and that was a tw uh, a twin color kit um so it was in two different colors if i remember rightly they did come with dioramas they come like a, a, a vac form base or this one here came with a bridge so we're gonna have a have a look inside and just see if it's if it is that kit which i think it is from from back in i think it was 1974 i think they were released again in the 80s and then I think Ravel will release them in the early 2000s with the with the diorama as well, with, with the bridge. Just to look on the box art, we've got the um, the brand in there with first diorama. It's a level four, which is very strange. If you don't know about Ravel's grades, it's nothing to do with how difficult the build is. It's all to do with parts. I think level one is like up to 12, 15 parts. Level two is up to 25, 30. Level three is up to 50 parts. Level four is up to 75. And then level five is more than 70, I think. That's how it works. But um, yeah, it says level four, but it's clearly not. Now, inside here, it's almost like a starter set from FX because they give you the contactor glue or cement which is great you know if anybody tells you you know if uh, one improvement that efforts could do with their starter sets is get rid of that shitty cement that they give you and give them a little bottle of this or not even Ravel would do a miniature bottle of their precision poly cement that would that would that would be a game changer it comes with two paint pots and it comes with the brush it says age 12 plus, and if you want to buy one, I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can get this from on Amazon. The code for it is um, Revel, or Revel, sorry, 03299. Side of the box, you've got the warnings, obviously, and on the back of the box, you've got a beginner set for designing your first own diorama to present the model in a realistic scenery. A uh, kit of the powerful British World War II tank Sherman Firefly, plate for diorama, basic colours, adhesive and brush. And uh, there is uh, a little picture there of what else they do. Uh, so you've got the warnings on that side as well. And then also you've got the box art and uh, the scale there, 54 parts. And it will look about 10.4 centimetres, it's 144 millimetres. Um, yeah, I bought this for $9.99 from Mr. Models at the show I went to at the weekend. But before I open this box, could I ask a bit of a favour? If you're not a subscriber, will you please consider subscribing to this channel? It really does help. If you want to do that, click subscribe, then ring that bell, click all, and you'll be notified when I release a new video. Remember that likes and comments really help the videos, and as the videos grow, so does the channel. Thank you. So there you have it. Inside the box, you get a little packet with your uh, paints, glue, and a brush. And uh, surprise, it's only um, a one-ended brush. Normally, Ravel or Ravel normally give you a, a two-ended brush. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're only giving you one on this one. You get your instruction sheet uh, showing you um, how to build the kit, and then you get your pack of sprues. So let's have a look inside and let's see how it all looks so anyway let's have a quick look so you can see yes i was correct it was the pk 71 because you can see it there and that would have said made in the uk but they've actually rubbed that bit out so obviously it's made in uh germany um doesn't actually give a frame number on this one i can't see a frame number 
But there you go, there's the base of the bridge. You're gonna be building a bridge for this one. And there's some of the wheels there for the, and the bogies there for the uh, the tracks. But you can see there is some detail on it. I said to you, you know, Matchbox wasn't a kit to shy away from. They were really good. And was it 74? So this one now is 50 years old, all but a year. 1974, PK71. And there you go, there's sprue one. Right, so this one's the part, well, I'm gonna call it sprue two, but I'm just looking for a sprue. Oh, there it is, it says it there. Uh, C, <laughs> sprue C. But then you've got more parts, I believe, of the bridge there. You've also got this tank and this tank is actually molded extremely well. There's a lot of detail on this. If I, I remember building it, I really do remember building it. You've got a jack there, you've got, if you get closer there, you've got um, tools there on the side. You know, you've got some lovely details. There's some sort of storage there, I think. Yeah, you've got some, no, there's, there's a mallet right on the back there. There is some good detail on this. On the, on the turret itself, you've got detail too. You know, it, 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 I'm not lying to you when I say that in the, in the 70s, we used, to, we used to be overjoyed if we were given one of these kits. Unfortunately, when I was growing up, they didn't have um, um, Matchbox in the local news agent. It was all Airfix and a little bit of frog. But yeah, see, that there's some detail on the inside of there. Interesting. So, yeah. Brilliant. Just putting the kit back over here. I'm gonna look for something. No, I can't see it. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's some. It looks like there's some track there to put on the front. See, I'm just it's reminiscing now of when I built it all those years ago. In fact, I'm almost got a semi on to build it again. To be fair. Yeah. Just looking. Um, there you go. I just want to see whether could you have the hatch open? I suppose you could have the hatch open. You could cut this in half and have the of the of the hatch open. So you guys it and you've got rubber band tracks but you know if you look at how these fit they've got a there's a brilliant method of putting them together you see you've got really big lugs here let me just um take them off a minute i'm reluctant to do this but as you see if i remember rightly they go in don't they 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 you don't you go in and twist if i remember I think the bogies are in two parts and you can actually paint the wheels before you put the track on. Just trying to get the track in here. If I can. Yeah, there you go. They were perfect. Do you, do, do you guys remember this? You know, they go in and they twist and turn. That's your answer, FX. That's your answer. You know, were they like this back in the day? I, you know what? Did they did they, did they re-engineer these? I can't remember now. I'm, I'm but I, I do remember building recently. Um, you know, and I remember the tracks being so easy to put together. Anyway, so there's that bit. Anyway, let's go to the instructions. Anyway, okay, let's uh, open up. And obviously, you've got um, a, you know, the instructions for Ravel are, are very very good. You got a call out there. Um, it looks like they've re, re they've re um, numbered these. See, even though it says frame C, it's not frame C. You just look for the numbers. I think it goes from um, there's five there, six. I can't see a one though. Can you see a one? There's somewhere there's a one, but yeah, that's it. And then, so basically, uh, you put the, the the chassis on, so the four part chassis or body, I should say. Then you're starting to put in the uh, the drive wheels. There you go. There's no need for um, any hot spoons or forks or screwdrivers to attach them. They just go in and twist. Ah, there you go. There's the bogies. They're two part bogies, and then and then you can, so you can paint the wheels and put them in, and they slot together, and then glue. So you glue them in. Fantastic. So yeah. So you've got there's two types. So you've got three on one side, three on the other. And then they just go into these pinholes. It's a, I'll swear to you, it's a really good tank from Matchbox. So Ravel can take some of the glory for reproducing it, but they picked a good tank to make a first diorama set of. 
Again, putting the bogeys in into the little pins. Then you start building up the, um, the turret. Turn over the page. You know, you've got your, your spare tracks there, a little bit of storage on the back, I think that is. And then you just put it in. You don't actually glue it in. You push it in and use that. And then this all fits on the top. And then there's a little piece here on how to put the uh, bridge together. One, two, three, four, five piece. Fantastic. And then you've got a couple of schemes, I believe. We've got a few schemes, actually. You've got the... 2nd Battalion, the Coldstream Guards in 1944. So you're using decal 7 and 9, 7 and 9. Um, and then you've got a top view, which is, you know, you've got 2B on the back. <laughs> and um, there, yeah, fantastic. And there's a little bit of detail there. So there's only one colour, A, which is, I believe, uh, bronze green mat. So bronze green mat for all over. Or you can do the second Fife and um, Full Fart Yilmery, Rhineland 1945. And, uh, and they're looking for A and B again. So you're basically putting down the A, and then the B is C Green Mat. And just a few decals to put on there, and two B on the back of that one. So yeah, you know what? For £10, I think that is. A very very good kit I know it's not new um, the airfix one is we well, can pick it up for 699 from um, Audi because this is what it is it is it's, it, you know they've retooled it made it into a into a, um, starter set for beginners and this is all one piece you know so you don't you don't do the wheels or anything separate but this is a, a complete build so this will be like when they release the Sherman Firefly as a, just a standard kit, not as a um, starter set. But the rubber band track, that linkage system there is fantastic. Look at that. All you got to do is feed it through and that's it. You're pretty much done. Fantastic. What do I rate this? I'm, even though it's an old kit, it's definitely worth building. If you see this for sale and you fancy having a crack at building a 172nd or what's my 176, 172nd Sherman Firefly, this is a good one. The other one I recommend you build is the Hella Sherman as well. They've done a really good version too. Anyway, that's me done. Thank you for watching. Did you build this years ago as the PK-71 from the 70s? Or did you build it as a Revell back in the 2000s? Let me know in the comments box below. And if you do buy one, just, let, just send me an Instagram or, or anything. Tag me in your pictures when you've built this kit to let me know how well you've got on with it. And just let me know what, what you think of it once you've built it. If you like the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Ring that bell. Click all to be notified when I release a new video. Any questions, any comments, leave them in the box below because I do reply. And a huge shout out to all the channel members who are shown on screen now. They help me financially with the channel if you'd like to become a channel member and receive a few extra perks like hard copies of my zines uh, access to me then please become a channel member by clicking join and then select the membership tier you so wish if you've not seen my previous video click here if you'd like to see a playlist of my other videos click here